friends welcome to this week's edition of saturday morning crafting in which i have joined forces with melissa of mo creations and gloria of girliest cards under the hashtag two crafters one design each week we assemble we decide on a focal feature something we have either alike or similar in our stash we craft with those items and we bring forth our projects to you all on saturday morning while we're at it, we support Jill Norwood's hashtag Sat More Makes. Jill encourages all of us in the crafty community to find some time to craft for our own mental health um, and to share our projects on Saturday morning. Now, this week, our focal feature was on balloons. And I am going to be totally honest, I was not in the mood to craft, and I didn't. Um, but what I did do to um, deflate a bit is to pull out my sequins and to create a sequins mix. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and share with you all how I store uh, my sequins. And um, not just sequins, but um, things that I use to create my sequins mixes. Now, I have a ton of sequins. I'm not going to lie. But what I usually do by season is to um, corral them into these four containers um, and only utilize what's in these four containers because I don't want to get overwhelmed and I don't want to get to the point where I'm not creating because I have too much stuff. So um, I'm going to share with you all first uh, my balloons and what I use were these balloons here which are hot air balloons. This is what I use in my sequence mix. Now these are how I create, um, how I store my sequins. I got these at the, um, I think at Hobby Lobby some time ago. So there are these things called creative options and what they have is these little units where you can um, screw on and off these. It's a small amount um, capacity so you're not overwhelmed and what I store in these are different shades of sequins and um, dots and clay pieces everything so that I can make a quick sequence mix and they're by color there these are hard to open up so I just pulled that one open um, but these are kind of hard to open and close so I'm not going to do all of them I'm just going to share with you all how I have them um, pretty much arranged and sorry about the glare but yeah there are those and when I want to amp up my little sequence mix a bit and put some clay bits then I use here, I'm gonna put these then I use these clay bits here and I store these by season as well because I knew I was going to be doing some Christmas in July um, stuff I pull out a couple of little things that I could use just in case I wanted to create a project um, but anyway like I said I use these sequins and here is my mix I made a small summary mix and I think that it's gonna go a long way um, for the rest of the summer so here it is I hope you guys can see that um, I have different summer elements in there and there are my clay bits so I have some flowers and butterflies sorry about that me hitting the camera along with the hot air balloons so yeah I think it's a pretty decent mix I was able to create <laughs> that put a smile on my face so I did do some crafting so yeah, next week's focal feature is going to be on at the beach. So pull out your at the beach supplies, create, and share with us your project under the hashtag two crafters one design. We'd love to see what you're creating. And while you're at it, upload to Jill Nora Woods hashtag sat more and makes. Information on both will be listed in the description box. And I hope that you all have a fantastic Saturday and a fabulous week. Bye now.